Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be talking about my personal take on the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate by Coursera. We'll be talking about how we can enroll, what are the courses included for this certificate, uh, who it is for and who it is not for. We'll be also talking about uh, the job readiness claim um, and my take on it. So let's go. Here is my uh, professional certificate that was given to me by Google, uh, the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. Uh, let's take a look at how you can get yours. So Google has partnered with Coursera and offering a professional certificate that is claiming to make you job ready in the field of data analytics. For this, you will need to buy Coursera subscription, which is about $39 a month and complete eight courses at your desired pace. Uh, Google recommends six months for completion uh, for uh, 10 hours per week uh, of the certificate. So that uh, would be uh, $234 to learn and get the certificate. Uh, if your aim is to just get a certificate and pay less and you're willing to dedicate additional time, then you can complete it early and pay less. So why did Google create this program? Uh, to answer this, we have to take a step back. Google had long faced an issue that many other companies also contend with. It had open IT support roles and not enough qualified candidates to fill them. So they built and tested a training program to provide pathways to jobs and technical support at Google for people with no college degree or experience. In 2018, Google launched the IT support career certificate so that this training could be made available to everyone. Since then, Thousands of people have completed the program, making it the top professional certificate program on Coursera. 82% of uh, US program graduates report a positive career outcome within six months of completion, such as getting a new job, promotion, or raise. So when they saw the positive impact that this program was having on people all over the world, they wanted to expand into additional fast growing, high paying career fields like project management, data analytics, and UX design. These certificates built and taught by Google are designed to prepare people from all backgrounds for jobs where there is great demand for qualified candidates. Like the IT support certificate, no degree or relevant experience is required and at the completion of the program, graduates will be able to connect directly with over 130 US employers who are accepting Google career certificate for open jobs. So basically the claim is that after you finish this program, you will be able to find a job, you will be job ready, and many employers recognize uh, Google Career Certificate. So we'll see what the requirements are and I'll, I'll let you know my take on it. Uh, so these are the courses that are included uh, in this professional certificate. There are a total of eight certificates that you need to complete to get the professional certificate from Google. Uh, the eighth course being a capstone case study. So, uh, the courses from one to seven are about your learning and the course number eight is about applying that learning to like a real life uh, business case or um, basically download a data set uh, from uh, open source and uh, in fact highly recommend that, that you take these courses in the order uh, because uh, the course actually builds this momentum uh, as you progress so Things that you actually learn in course two are somehow related to course one. Uh, things that you learn in course three have some, some background in courses one and two. So it is recommended that you uh, complete this uh, in order. So one thing I liked about this course is that each course, um, I mean, each segment is actually subdivided into weeks. So if you go to like foundation data everywhere and if you just like go to this course, then it, it tells you uh, how long it is going to, to complete and uh, the course is neatly split into the weeks so that you can plan your uh, study schedule accordingly. One thing to note that for people with some experience in data analytics, some things might just like feel repetitive or too easy. Um, uh, so it is not imperative that you have to like stick around the whole course. There are like, uh, fast tracks as well. So just in case, if you like feel like some of these section are uh, too, I mean, too easy for you, then there is a quiz at the beginning of each course wherein you can just like uh, see if you qualify for the fast track uh, and based on the score you actually have on that uh, quiz, 
and Google recommends you to take the fast track. Yeah. If you see from here, Google let you track your progress by weeks and courses. So if you see, uh, like after you uh, complete course now number one, uh, you can actually see what are the steps that are required to achieve you uh, this professional certification. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. So like about me, I have been working in data analytics from the past 10 years. So I actually chose the fast track with this certificate. Um, so the most interesting part that I actually felt was uh, course number eight, which was uh, for us to like complete a case study. Um, so Google actually lets you choose two paths. So it can also recommend you a data set that you can work on uh, and then basically come up with your own visualization and analysis that you can share it on LinkedIn for the recruiters or other people to see. Also, it lets you choose your own data set to work. So just in case if, if a data set is interesting to you and you want to like uh, use the skills that you have learned through this certificate and apply it on the data set, you are definitely like welcome to do so. The technical language that this course actually teaches you is SQL and R. Uh, somehow uh, uh, Python is not included. Uh, Google recommends uh, uh, R for this course and uh, a little bit of tidyverse packages are also included. So here's my take on it. This course will seem like a beginner level and it is rightly marked so. It actually says that, uh, that this is a beginner level and uh, no prior experience in data analytics is required to enroll for this course. So if you already have been working in data analytics for like a long time, have good experience with uh, R, Python, SQL, then this course uh, uh, is going to be, uh, I mean, just a little bit um, on the uh, beginner side or it's not for you actually. Uh, uh, if you're looking for something advanced, uh, then this course is not for you. This aim to give people with no prior background uh, some uh, view into a life of a data analyst and uh, uh, teach them how to think like um, a data analyst and solve technical issues and how to handle large, large data. One good part about this course is that on completion of this course, you get a chance to showcase your work by, by posting it on LinkedIn and other job boards. Also, they teach you how to navigate through GitHub and Kaggle. So these are the open source communities where recruiters hang around all the time. And if you have a portfolio there, then definitely your chances of uh, getting um, noticed by any, uh, potential recruiters are high. So thumbs up. Another really good thing about this course is that it lets you register on the course at a job platform, which lets you uh, put your resume and showcase your work there. And it is accessed by uh, um, the companies that actually uh, accept the Google Data Analytics certificate as a recognized uh, certificate um, and uh, would actually reach out to you uh, post completion of this certificate if you're interested in applying to any of the open positions. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and I'll be glad to answer them. Until next time, see you.